there, I'm Coach Amy, Precision Nutrition Certified Nutrition Coach with Results Fitness, and the recipe I have for you today is a carrot cake smoothie. So this smoothie is gonna be a quick and easy way to pack in some protein, get your carbohydrates, get your healthy fats, and get all of the parts of a complete and balanced meal into one smoothie. So to get started, you're going to need one frozen banana, one half cup of frozen pineapple, shredded carrots. Uh, you can buy them already shredded, which is super easy, or you know you could shred your own if you only have whole carrots. Vanilla protein powder, milk. I'm gonna be using almond milk. You can use dairy, you can use oat milk, cow milk, whichever you prefer. Almond butter, cinnamon, and oats. So you don't typically see oats added to smoothies, but like I mentioned, this is gonna help you get um, all the components of a balanced meal. So oats are a great carb to have to help keep you full and satisfied and give you that long-term sustainable energy. So I have my smoothie container. I'm going to start with, I like to start with the frozen stuff first. So I'm going to add my one frozen banana whew, and the half cup of frozen pineapple. Oops, <sighs> had a stowaway. All right, and then from there, I'm going to add about eight ounces of almond milk. You may want to adjust, uh, you know, if you like your smoothies really thick, which this one is going to be with the oats, so you may need a little bit more milk. Start with eight ounces, try it out, and see if you need to add a little bit more. And then I'm going to add my one scoop of protein powder. I like to add the vanilla flavor to this smoothie, so, um, some people prefer plain. Maybe you don't want to include the protein powder at all. Totally up to you. All right, and then about a quarter cup of shredded carrots. It's a good way to get some veggies in too. Uh, foods like cauliflower, zucchini, carrots, spinach are virtually tasteless, tasteless in a smoothie. So it may seem a little weird adding some veggies. You know, maybe you have an aversion to it, but I promise you, you do not taste them. So it's one quick and easy way to get them in. All right, and then I'm gonna add one half cup of oats. Again, this is gonna be one of those good complex carbohydrates to help keep you satisfied and provide you with energy. All right, and then I'm gonna add a dash of cinnamon and one tablespoon of almond butter. So with the almond butter, we have our healthy fats. And when you're choosing an almond butter or peanut butter, ultimately you wanna aim for the natural versions uh, that contain just the crushed nuts. Uh, you know, the more processed versions will have a lot of added sugars, a lot of hydrogenized oils. So when you, if and when you can choose the natural options, that's gonna be your best bet. All right, so I'm gonna try this out. I may need to add a little bit of milk, just depending on how thick this is, but I also have the world's loudest blender. So I'm gonna put you on hold for a second and I'll be right back. All right, I am back. Uh, blended this for about 30 seconds, to make sure I get everything incorporated. Uh, I like to use, I actually have the Ninja Smoothie Blender Maker. So um, the smoothie cups, you blend directly into there. So it's a much smaller version than a regular blender. Um, it's less cleanup too. You know, once you make your smoothie directly into the cup, you drink it straight from here, wash it from there. Not all the extra pieces and parts with, you know, the larger blenders. So just an option if you want something quick and easy. Um, one of the biggest things that I hear as a coach is that a lot of people don't have time for breakfast, whether it be preparing it or actually taking the time to sit down and eat. Uh, as you can see, we made this smoothie in just a few seconds. You know, you can even get this prepared as much as possible and make uh, smoothie packs. You know, anything that can be frozen, put it into a baggie, toss it in the freezer. So this way, when you're ready to make it, all you have to do is add your milk and any other ingredients that you want to add. And you have a quick, easy and healthy meal that can be eaten on the run. So if time is one of your biggest struggles, smoothies are the perfect way to get a full balanced meal in and they can be eaten on the run, on your commute, anything like that. So just a quick and easy way to get a full meal in. As always, if you try out the recipe, let me know what you think, and I hope you have a fantastic day.